Hi, Fred Astaire Scottsdale. My name is Jessica Cacho and I am the new administrative assistant. So Jessica, um, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, from Texas. Uh, originally, I was born in San Antonio, lived in Arlington for nine years, and then El Paso for nine years. Perfect. And how long have you lived in Arizona? Uh, for about seven years since I was 18. I moved out here for university. Very good. So what did you study? Hospitality management. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're from Texas, so you're very much accustomed to Western culture, so mm -hmm. to speak. Are you a country girl? I'm not. You're not. I can go country dancing. That's fine. I don't mind the music. It's just I'm not kind of the grits and the boots. Are you the more glamorous? I guess. <laughs> I'm just the more Latin flair of the culture. Okay. Very cool. Uh, do you have a dance background? Or I do. Um, again, from what I remember, uh, I mean, I was four in a tutu and I have a picture of that. But from what I physically remember, I was six when I started with tap and ballet and jazz with and I would do competitions with the studio. We were in a little group. So that was really fun. I was there until about 10. And then that's when we moved over to El Paso. And then my mom actually opened up a dance studio. Yeah, we owned, she had that for about four years. And we did everything from flamenco, folklorico. Um, we did like Taitiano, which is like a Hawaiian dance. Uh, and then of, of course your mod modern, ballet, uh, tap, jazz all of that hip-hop and so it was a pretty cool like diverse studio and then um we closed it down and i continued in um high school and a little in college i did color guard so like with the marching band and the flags and kind of kept my creative side alive with that so you're one of the people we say like grew up in the industry like you were yeah. always in the dance world to begin with yes mm -hmm. perfect what made you stop dancing or do you still dance i dance not as a sport it's just more going out with my friends mm -hmm. um salsa nights at the boom and busters or salsa nights at you know wherever i can get my hands on i like going there so say to say students could grab you during a party and yes. dance with them <laughs> yes <laughs> perfect um what brought you to fred astaire well i was looking for a new job and i was looking for a while and you know, kind of doing the humdrum, like applying, like, mm -hmm. you know. But what, what, what about Fred Astaire do Gosh. you like or draws you in? Well, when I saw it on the website um, where I was looking for jobs, I just, my heart skipped a beat because I saw what they were looking for and that's kind of where I was going, applying for. And then when I saw the company, I just, I couldn't, I was ecstatic. I, I had never come across a dance studio or a dance company that was ever hiring for something other than teachers. Mm -hmm. um, and so to get that opportunity was really exciting. So I applied right away. And um, just because I wanted to be submersed back into that world, maybe not dancing per se, but just being back in that world with that culture, with liveliness and mm -hmm. music and people being happy and confident and getting to that level, that's where I wanted to be back at. What about ballroom dancing catches your eye or what interests you, even if you're not dancing yourself? It's just so beautiful. It's it's a beautiful thing to see, like, obviously, like, um, Dancing with the Stars, like, they have the grits and the glamour, but just seeing it, just people practicing, there's just such structure and poise, like, that reminds me of the olden times, like, I don't know, mm -hmm. I just wonder what it was like back then, maybe that's how they danced or... Mm -hmm. It was approached that way in a very elegant way, but it's really nice. Sure. Let's do some fun things now. Okay. Um, favorite Starbucks drink? Go. 30 seconds. Oh, gosh. Um, I actually like Dutch Brothers more than Starbucks, um, and I like their Kokomo, which is like coconut, but if it has to be Starbucks, I mean their double chocolate chip cappuccino. <laughs> okay. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Um, let's see. Favorite type of dance? To watch I like the, the waltz and the tango Perfect. um favorite dancer Ooh, gosh that's uh god hmm. I mean I just because I've seen her in the social media and in the spotlight I love Julian Huff like she's a very versatile um dancer mm -hmm. so I like her a lot uh let's see I'm trying to think of some quick things uh, really bad. 
<laughs> um, favorite quote oh, shoot. or a motto that you like to live by or you or inspires you? Um, I have a Bible verse mm -hmm. um, tattooed, and so I like Proverbs thirty one twenty five. Mm -hmm. It's um, she is clothed in dignity and strength, and she um, she laughs at the fear of the future or something like that. But I just like that because it reminds me every day that I you know I have dignity and strength, and that I shouldn't be fearful of the future. I should actually just laugh and embrace what comes my way. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, this isn't a question, it's more of a, um, I want you to give like a goodbye message. Okay. Be like, um, something like, I look forward to meeting you all so much, I'm very excited to be on this journey with you, mm -hmm. um, some, something to that extent, whatever okay. you'd like to do. Go okay. ahead whenever you're ready. So like a goodbye message. Yep, yep. Okay. So, I look forward to meeting every one of you and working with you and being on this incredible journey that you've embarked on with you and being able to assist you in whatever way I can and welcome you every day and be there for you guys as a support system if you need one. But I'm very excited to be part of this company and more so just be a part of your guys' journey. Um, so thank you.